Hi everyone, this is Dennis, and I want to talk about the way that we're going to move forward with the Order of the Unseen after Quantum Entanglement Stage 1. For those who have been around a long time, you'll know that the contributions, the community contributions from the Order for enemy creation, elder god creation, sanity events, was an overwhelming success. We have a ton of content there. While we took our break, we do understand that some people uh, may have lost interest and may or may not be coming back. So we had to deal with um, new members coming in who are really excited and at the same time uh, preserve and uh, keep this massive amount of great content that has already been created. So in order to balance both of these and uh, not overwhelm people with uh, content that was previously created, what we've decided to do is create a vault. And the vault, you can see here, um, is a duplicate of what the order used to be before stage one. And it's got all things like uh, the uh, game design, gameplay, uh, the Elder God creation, um, a few other uh, a few other things uh, that were there. We've restructured the order now, so it's much more streamlined. Um, and what we've done is we've created uh, the vault, so people who are coming back to the order of the unseen and have contributed previously. Uh, we want to have a mechanism for them to take that stuff out and put it back into circulation and say, you know, we still uh, like this idea and we want to contribute. Or maybe their ideas have changed and they want to just leave it there. That's up to them. But let's say you had this great idea. Let me walk you through how, how you would uh, get uh, something previously created back into play. Let's go into the um, enemy uh, uh, creation initiative uh, part of the vault. So I'm going to go right to the end. And I don't know uh, those who remember, but I created uh, a wraith as an example uh, when we were showing uh, people uh, and people in the community how we wanted to create things. And here you can see an example of uh, some reference material that I had inspired by the 13 ghosts. It's got uh, the class types and stuff. Um, and this particular enemy, you can uh, it's invisible. Uh, you can attack it from behind. Uh, when you go insane, you can actually see it. So it's got it's got some interesting mechanics. Um, and uh, let's just say that I'm I'm from the order, and I I like this idea. Um, and what I want to do is uh, put this back into circulation. So what you can do is you can you can see here when you create a thread, you can actually edit it. Um, we've given people. Uh, the ability to edit these things and then what you can do is set the prefix here to request move to the order and just save it out and that will flag it for myself and other moderators to look at this and say okay this 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 particular this particular design of this particular piece of content uh, needs to be moved over so at that point what we'll do and this part uh, this is just to give you an idea of how things are going to work. Uh, we're going to move the thread and we're going to leave a permanent redirect so people can see where it came from for reference and uh, we'll um, put it into uh, the enemy creation initiative label it from the vault, leave a permanent redirect And boom, here it is. And uh, you can see that this is uh, the new forum for the Enemy Creation Initiative. And um, there it is, preserved and back into play. We really hope that people like this idea. We really tried to balance both um, new ideas coming in at the same time, uh, both preserve as reference and for those who may want to come back uh, after our break to continue to participate that all of their stuff is preserved and still there um, and they're welcome to bring it back into play. So really looking forward to interacting and doing uh, some really creative things with the community. Uh, we are a big believer in this methodology and we really think that it can make a difference 
when it comes to making great games. We hope you'll join us. Thanks for listening.